Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Hi, we're here with Greg Meyer, who among other things is, things is best known as the last American man to have won the Boston Marathon. Um, Greg, let's talk a little bit about um, marathons and a recent world record that Paul Turgot set at 204.55. What did you think when that happened? <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's got to be a short course. How can they run that fast? Now, it's it was only a matter of time. Um, people had been running under an hour for a half marathon, and there's so much talent out there right now in, in, in the marathon and the focus on the marathon that it's going to just keep gradually moving itself down. But it's just it's shocking to realize that somebody would be a mile ahead of you. You know, it's just incredible. Oh, a mile ahead of you. It's not quite a mile, but you're looking at, you know, from a 209 to a 204.55, it's a little over three minutes. That's that's cranking right along. That's cranking. Um, one one thing that uh, Paul Turgot said that I, I was struck by, as he said, it it takes patience and experience to be able to run a marathon at that level. Um, um, and I'm, I'm sure you can support that or to some extent. What, what do you think? Well, I think that's true at any level. It, it, it takes patience and concentration. Um, think of the people that are running over four hours or five hours. If they do something crazy at the beginning, it's just a miserable experience for them for a lot longer period of time than somebody who's running 2.5 to 2.10. You know, geez, we wish we had an American under 2.10 now, you know. But, um, no, I, I think that's the nature of the marathon, and it's something that either you have it or you better learn it quick because the marathon can kill you if you don't stay under control. Um Let's talk a little bit about um, American marathoning and Michigan marathoners in particular. We've got a couple of hot ones right now in um, Ryan Shea, Clint Barron, and Kyle Baker. Do you see any of them making the Olympic team? I absolutely think all three of them have a shot at it. And again, in a marathon, it's always who's hot that day or you know who's got it all clicking and, and, and who survives the training. Um, Ryan Shea came in and ran the Riverbank run this year and did a great job there. Um, I, I think he's going to do just fine. He's young yet, you know. Um, Varen I haven't seen quite as often. Kyle Baker I know is doing a good job, but he's coaching full times, which can um, take some of the focus away a little bit. But all three of those guys have the talent to make the team, and I think that's exciting, you know, to have those kinds of guys coming out of the state of Michigan is, is incredible. Running Fit, serious footwear for serious events. We look at your feet, your goals, then fit you in the right shoes. Go to runningfit.com to find one of our seven Michigan locations. How about Boston? Do you think any of them has a chance to take it? Not this year. <laughs> Not the Olympics. And quite honestly, when when these na these international times are getting down to 204, 205, 206, our guys are still messing around up there around 210 to 211. Or slower they they've got a jump to make and somewhere along the line these guys got to quit thinking about the other americans and think about what the rest of the world is doing and i think guys like mike shea think like that you know they they want to run at a high level internationally so um, they need to be getting in the good races they need to be going to chicago they need to be going to boston and running the top competition not going somewhere where all they have to do is race Americans. Well, it's going to be an interesting year to look forward to. Um, let's let's change our um, venues a little bit and talk about Michigan High School cross country. You have a team you like a lot this year, don't you? Obviously, uh, and I'm I'm biased towards Dexter. Um, I think they got a great group of kids. They got about 40 kids out. They got three kids at right around 16 minutes, and um, two other guys under well under 17. They're going to be tough to beat in Division Two, uh, but last year's real good. But we have in, in the state of Milford is the number two ranked team in the country right now, and they're incredible. Um, and then you you throw in you know the, all the women's teams. You you know you, you look at um, a friend of mine at West Catholic, who's now got the number one team in Division Three, beat Williamston last week. Michigan is such a competitive state for high school cross country, and if you look at how many kids go on to college and run from Michigan. It's 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 a pretty intense state. Coaches know to come here because they know of how uh, the quality of the competition that that these kids face d week in and week out. It's Portage is going to be fun this week. The state meeting a month is going to be just a riot. It, it's um, 
I get more excited for high school cross country than I do in my own running. Now, there's there's one reason that that we need to mention why you might be excited. There's a a, a runner on the Dexter team named Meyer. Yeah, my son Dan is, is doing pretty good. You know, he's um he's had a couple of ups and a couple of downs this year, but he's running pretty well. And he's one of those three guys up front. He was he, he ran well last year and. His senior year, he would like to go out with another state championship, but he knows it's going to be a tough race between Lasher and Powers. Um, Dexter has a target on their back, so they have to run well, but I think they're up for it. it, it and right now, they're still laughing and having fun. They're not, they're not awed by it or nervous about it. They just like to have fun. Well, they're going to be faster if they're running relaxed, so we look forward to seeing how they do at uh, Portage in the state meet. It, it should be interesting. Portage is always a good test, and it probably is the best high school cross country meet in the state. So it'll be fun. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, Greg, and good luck, Dexter. Uh, thanks a lot. We need it. Okay.